Welcome everybody back for another short ride with the stud. I uh, hope you're enjoying these uh, and looking at the numbers and, uh, and all the comments we get, the great comments we're getting. Uh, I think you're really liking these and uh, got another great one for you today. Uh, this one kind of uh, tags along after the one that we've just showed recently with uh, me and Bob Armstrong and the Ric Flair match. And uh, that match, as I said uh, when I was telling a little bit about it, uh, it uh, it's kind of started a tremendous feud for us. Uh, uh, obviously, Bob turned heel at that point. Uh, then uh, a lot of things happened. Bob has a really dramatic, horrible accident in uh, Columbus, Ohio, when he's wrestling for Georgia Championship Wrestling, and he almost tears his nose off his face, and it just really changes his whole look, literally. Uh, it was horrible. He was in the hospital for a long time. And uh, so, uh, you know, Bob came back, and uh, and then I got in a feud with uh, Arn Anderson and Jerry Stubbs, and, and I got brought in Andre the Giant. Uh, we did all kinds of different people, and I had different partners, and I could not get the belts from Stubbs and Anderson. And Bob Armstrong came back on TV. He was getting well. His face, he didn't look the same, but his face was getting well. And he started asking me to, to be partners. He wanted, he wanted, he felt sorry for what he had done, and, and he, had, he, he just, and he wanted to make it up to me. And, uh, and I just kept refusing him. Finally, I decided I took him as a partner. And, uh, and then, uh, of all things, uh, uh, I, I turned on him because of what he had done to me. And I, and I never had gotten over it. And uh, so uh, after he befriended me again and everything looked like it was cool, then I turned my back on him. Uh, all during this time, Jimmy Jimmy goes with me. I formed the stud stable, and Jimmy becomes one of the members of the stud stable. But my brother Rob, uh, he had once no part of it, and uh, he stays friends with Bob, and it, it, that kind of that that thing goes on for quite a while. And then uh, finally, uh, uh, we can't get uh, you know we wanted to get Bob out of the territory. Uh, Jimmy and I, and uh, you know, I'm starting to bring in Hugh Mungus and a lot of other big stars uh, as part of the stable. And we're just trying to get rid of Bob Armstrong. So we finally get him tied up uh, and set up to where uh, he, he says, uh, yeah, I'll have a loser leave town match with you in the cage. And uh, so uh, then uh, Jimmy and I say, that's great, man. We want it. We don't care who your partner is. It makes no difference. In fact, uh, we were so confident that, you know, we said, if, if one of us loses, we'll both lose. We'll both leave, you know. And uh, so then Bob wouldn't tell us who the partner was. And then the last day, we're about to see the match in which Bob Armstrong brings out his partner, who is going to be against me and Jimmy. Uh, in the cage, loser leave, loser of the match leaves southeastern, and uh, it turns out to be my brother. And uh, if uh, I see no reason to go much further than that, why don't we uh, take a look at this? Uh, this is, and I might add that my brother had never in his career been a heel, uh, just as Bob had never been a heel until we did this angle with uh, me and him and Flair. Uh, my brother had never been a heel. And uh, he becomes a heel for sure. You'll see what kind of heel he is uh, right off the bat. And uh, this is pretty interesting. And uh, this is just another part of the year, four or five year feud between the Welches and the Fullers and the Goldens and the Armstrongs. But you're seeing it. That's right. You are going to see it. The steel cage match, brother against brother. Ron Fuller and his cousin. And Bob Armstrong going wild against the Tennessee Seven. Gorgeous Jimmy Golden as Robert Fuller enters the ring. And it's Bob Armstrong not even waiting for the bells. He moves against him. So we're seeing it. The steel cage match. The loser must, must leave town. We're seeing it right here on television. And it is. He's had him down. doing something over there. Bullet Bob Armstrong exploding against the Tennessee stud. 
bullet Bob Armstrong catching gorgeous Jimmy Golden. And so the team of Armstrong and uh, Robert Fuller, although it has been uh, it, uh, Robert Fuller over talking to the referee about something, and it has been bullet Bob Armstrong all the way. He's got the stud and gorgeous Jimmy Golden and this former Marine ex-firefighter down for the count. To, thought he had him. Remember now, the team of Fuller and Golden said if either one of them lost, they'd both leave the area of Continental Championship Wrestling. Well, Robert Fuller hasn't... I don't understand this. This is a steel cage match. And Rock, Bob Armstrong has him in the sleeper. Bob Armstrong's got him in the sleeper hold. And he has been absolutely doing it single-handedly. Robert Fuller over in the corner.
just like we planned, brother. You were gone by myself. You were walked up. How that could you possible? I love it. Robert, Did you like that, Jordan? This is the most disgusting thing I have ever seen. Well, uh, they're beating a hasty retreat. Brad Armstrong charging. Brad Scott and Steve Armstrong. Well, I'll tell you what. And I've known Bob Armstrong for a number of years, a great, courageous, gallant man. And uh, he's raised three fine sons. And I just cannot believe, I cannot believe what we've seen happen here. I came halfway around the world for this. I talked to my dad like this as I was in Houston, Texas. I had prior commitments. But I talked to him on the phone and he said, this is one of the most important matches of my career, he said to me. And I knew it. And when he said Robert Bull was his partner, I smelled a skunk right away, brother. And I had to be here. I had to be here to see this match. Now, Gordon, all we want, all I'm telling you, is I want those three men. My brother Scott, my brother Steve, and myself, Brad Armstrong. I want the fours and I want golden. So I know you can do it too, Gordon Sully. So get it done, because that's what we want. Ooh. Well, I'll tell you what, I have never seen such cold rage in anybody's eyes in my entire life as I saw in Brad Armstrong's just then. And I'll tell you for a moment, I was fearful that uh, he was going to vent that rage and that anger on me. Uh, and, uh, well, they're, they're still trying to render assistance to... Bob Armstrong, and it's obvious that uh, he has been injured and quite severely injured. Uh, what has happened here is is it just is beyond description. It's beyond belief. Uh, brothers will fight brothers, but when a a man uh, claims to be a friend uh, is going in to do battle with a friend and then turns on him as he did as robert fuller turned on bob armstrong this is is without a doubt uh, the most reprehensible thing that i have ever seen in my entire lifetime and I, I can't say that i blame brad armstrong steve armstrong or scott armstrong and ladies and gentlemen what about it a tremendous round of applause for one tremendously gallant competitor bob armstrong who uh, fought insurmountable odds and fought the judas touch of one Robert Fuller. And all I can say is that the Tennessee stud coming up here and being as proud as he was of himself for this kind of scurrilous activity, uh, well, as I say, it just, it just absolutely defies description. They're uh, continuing to help Bob Armstrong out of the ring. Uh, I don't know that we're going to be able to bring you any kind of a, a report as to his condition, but as you can see, uh, he is in tremendous pain. Uh, how much damage they've done to this very, very gallant man, I just don't know. Uh... Wow, <laughs> that takes me back. Wow, what a what a great match. I don't know if you could uh, really uh, sense it, but uh, there was 8,000 people in the building. I mean, wow, it was a tremendous night. Uh, and uh, the boys, uh, uh, Bob, Bob gets beat, uh, Bob leaves. Uh, he, he's gone for months, I mean, he's hurt. Uh, his legs hurt uh, and, he's, uh, and uh, he's, he's not gonna come back for a while. And, uh, and when he re returns, he returns because we do such rotten things to his sons that he's got to return to save them. And, uh, and he's gonna be, come back as the bullet. And uh, that becomes a whole new thing because Bob as the bullet is just magnificent as was uh, uh, ever in his career. He is maybe his best work ever in his career was as the bullet. But uh, thank you all all so much for joining us today. Uh, remember, these are all, if you want the long ride, you want to see them, all kinds of uh, matches like this one, uh, you can uh, go to classiccontinentalwrestling.com. Uh, it's only $4.99 a month, um, $39.99 for a year. Uh, you subscribe and uh, 
You can watch all day, all night. Uh, we're adding to it constantly, just like we're adding these short rides with the stud to the YouTube channel. And uh, thank y'all all so much for your support. And, uh, and we're going to bring you another one.